There's five things that everybody should know before they get on probation. Granted, being on probation is better than being in jail, but at the same time, it's not for everybody. It's not a one size fits all type of a thing. I think everybody should know that you have to go in with an open mind because if you don't, you're gonna go in there and you're gonna be sorely disappointed. Why is it that when people get on probation, they have no idea what they're actually getting themselves into? Why isn't there some sort of playbook or rule book that lets people know this is what's gonna happen if you fail a drug test? This is what's gonna happen if you don't show up for your appointment. I think there should just be a little bit more transparency. A lot of people feel afraid to do it because they have heard negative stories or if this is their first time, they just really don't have a clue what it's about. So I'm like, let me go and tell people what it's really like. <laughs> so here's five things that your probation officer wants you to know, but you probably didn't find this out in court. It's okay to reschedule. I get so many messages with people asking me, what if I miss my appointment? Listen, your health, your safety, your job, that stuff is very important. Your probation officer wants you to keep a job. So if you need to reschedule because of work or a doctor or a child or anything, any valid reason, of course, just don't reschedule because you want to get out of a drug test. Like, no. <laughs> that drug test is still going to be waiting on you when you get there eventually. So, yeah, no. But if you need to reschedule for a real valid reason, just go ahead and reschedule. If there's at least 24 hours um, up until your appointment, call them, reschedule. They would rather reschedule you than you not show up and it's a violation. Nine times out of 10, your probation officer does want you to succeed. Probably more than you want to succeed. <laughs> I don't even know if that's possible, but seriously, they want you to succeed. They don't want to have to come in and have to go over all these violations or go over things that you're not doing. They want the visit to be just as smooth as you want it to be. Probably smoother because that makes not only your life easier, but also their life easier. No one wants to go to work and do extra work for what? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. So let's get rid of this negative stigma that probation officers want people to go to jail because it's, it's just simply not true. Well, granted, there are times where I guess some people abuse their power. I have not seen that in my years of being a probation officer, but I mean, there's bad apples in every bunch, right? Like any profession that you're in, there's going to be somebody that's just not doing their job right or kind of taking advantage and that leads me to my next point if your probation officer is not doing something that is helping you but is like literally hindering you intentionally and like you know that they're trying to do something intentionally to you get proof like that proof could be in the form of I don't know writing down exactly what they did what they said how they said it I don't know if you're a state you can record your probation officer listen I am not, I am not telling you to go record your probation officer. <laughs> but what I am saying is like, if they are doing something that you know is wrong, illegal, speak up. It's like too often people are not speaking up. So how are we supposed to get these bad apples out of the bunch if nobody is speaking up about it? Now, if you have a fear like there will be repercussions for you speaking up against this probation officer, like take it up step, take it excuse me take it a step higher if you don't want to talk to their supervisor you can go to your lawyer you don't want to go to your lawyer you can go to the judge like just tell somebody just don't you can tell me email me okay <laughs> my email address your favorite po at yahoo.com email me because we have to speak up we have to get these stories out i don't want people going into probation with a probation officer that for years they have a history of doing stuff like this like no let's end it let's dead it no your probation also wants you to know that probation starts the day that you sign your name on that dotted line it may not be dotted but the day that you sign your name in court saying that i'm going to take probation your probation starts that day so stop all drugs alcohol anything that your court order says you cannot do just stop it listen just stop it because it starts that day so say for instance you in court you sign for probation today Today, no more drugs, no more alcohol, no nothing. Get up there on the, not even on the board. You got it, you got it. Your probation officer can literally call you the next day and have you come in for a drug test. If it's positive, that test is going to be a violation and it is going to be on you because your probation started yesterday. So let's get this straight. Make sure you stop all drugs and alcohol the day you sign for probation. Like, I cannot tell you how many times people have come into my office and said, well, I didn't think I had to do this until I came to see you. No, no, no love. You, it starts the day you sign for probation, okay? If your probation officer is not responding, sometimes things come up. They want you to reach out. It's your responsibility to reach out. If you don't, that's on you. 
you can say all day that you didn't call me the probation officer didn't call me i didn't hear from them you have to call like what if it was your girlfriend or your boyfriend or somebody close to you and you're like dang i've been calling them i've been blowing them up why haven't they responded i mean you're gonna take more measures right you're gonna like email them go to their instagram like call their mom i don't know you're gonna like try if you really <laughs> You're going to like try if you're really into that person. My point is make an effort. Even if you're calling for like two weeks straight or something. Go to the probation office. Like what if your girlfriend was not answering the phone for two weeks. Or your boyfriend wasn't answering the phone for two weeks. Pop up. Okay. Yeah. Just go to the office. Let them know I've been trying to get in touch with my probation officer. I haven't gotten a response. I don't want to get in trouble. Just stay on top of it. Don't think because they're not calling you back that you can just be free to do whatever you want or you know you're flying under the radar because you haven't heard from them like this is your responsibility this is literally your life take it seriously when you try to use things to clean out your urine the probation officer actually knows i wish they would tell people this in court I, on my facebook page i make some posts about this i've made several posts about this actually and people will put in the comments like no that's not true there you can use this to clean your urine you can use that to clean your urine oh this works i've done it for two, two years on probation if you have to go through links to clean your urine like that's a bigger problem like you you obviously have a bigger problem on your hands so if you need help like abstaining from alcohol stopping the drugs tell the probation officer if you don't tell them and they find out later, it's just gonna look worse. You know what I'm saying? It'll still be one violation, but it'll just look worse. Be upfront. A lot of people are afraid to tell the probation officer that they have some substance abuse issue or something like that. Like I smoke weed every day before probation. So of course my urine is gonna still be, you know, come up dirty for weed. But this is the thing, just be upfront. And the first time that you fail a drug test, you're usually, mm, the first time that you fail a drug test, you're usually not going to go to jail. Why do people think that? I don't understand. The courts nowadays, they do not want to see people locked up for their first failed drug test. They just don't. So if this is your first time going to probation, this is your first time taking a drug test, and you know it's going to be dirty, just tell the probation officer. Even if you don't tell them, your first positive drug test is the consequences are not going to be that steep nine times out of ten this is what's going to happen they're going to have you speak to an alcohol and drug counselor just to see if there's some issue that needs to be addressed that's it they're going to have you talk to a counselor and the counselor is just going to ask you a bunch of questions about you know how much drugs you've used in the past and like what is your drug of choice and stuff like that to see if there's something that they can help you with but if you don't want to stop smoking weed specifically because weed is like a big thing i don't know what it is so many people smoke weed but anyway if weed is a thing that you have a problem with i know it takes like 30 45 days to get it out of your system we understand that but if your probation officer tests you and they send that urine to like a lab then they can see the levels of thc or the levels of marijuana in your system so if they see that it's going down, you know, they're like, okay, this person has stopped. We just have to test them again in a couple of weeks or test them again in 30 days to make sure that the levels are still going down. That's it. But if your level is like, let's just say for instance, a 300 and you come back and it's a 400 red flag, <laughs> flag on the play. <laughs> so just be honest about it. And if you can't stop, tell them you can't stop. I've had a few people on my case load before tell me exactly. I have been smoking every day for X amount of years. I just cannot stop and I don't want to stop. Not even that I can't. It's like I don't want to. And I understand that. It's hard to make a lifestyle adjustment like that just like this, you know? So if, if that's your case, tell the probation officer and they'll see what they can do. You may have to go sit some time in jail if you just... It just depends. You know what? I digress. We're going to move on. <laughs> Listen, no longer are probation officers here to send you up the river to jail to the big house to the pen <laughs> that's not what they're here for sometimes there are instances where people run into situations and they've had a negative experience and you already know that that's what people are going to blast on social media that's what they're going to blast across the internet or to their friends or whatever if they have a bad experience but there are so many people who have good experiences and if you're one of them or if you know somebody who has had a good experience Please have them reach out to me because I would really like to hear their story and like share it with other people so that we can get rid of this negative stigma. A lot of times people go into probation with such a negative mindset strictly based off of something that they heard. 
like one person's story can just taint the whole thing so hopefully one person's positive story can kind of switch the narrative and we can get in more positive space <laughs> with probation <laughs> if you have any questions any comments leave them down in the comment section below um also in the description box you can see a link i do one-on-one -on -one calls with people coaching calls if you have specific questions that you want to ask me personally i am more than happy to answer your questions um no i'm not claiming to know everything but i do know a few things being a probation officer for almost five years in texas okay and i've talked to plenty of probation and parole officers across the country so if you have a question and you don't want to ask your po you kind of like eh um yeah hit me up i'm more than happy to help and make sure you hit that subscribe button because i'm going to be posting way more videos to help people on probation if you have a specific question and you want me to do a video on it also comment down below until next time y'all stay safe